Libraries use WorldCAP knowledge base collections to reflect their electronic resources subscriptions. This video demonstrates how to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel to reconcile a KBART file from WorldShare Collection Manager with a list of your titles for your e-journal or e-book collection. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It is an Excel formula that lets you search for a specific value in a table and return it in another cell of the same table. But you can also use this function across spreadsheets. The VLOOKUP formula consists of four pieces of information. The required lookup value, table array, column index number, and the optional range lookup. The lookup value is the value for which you want to find matching data. It can be a value, a text string, or a cell reference. Translating this to simple English, the formula is saying, look for this piece of information in the following area and give me some corresponding data from another column. To use the VLOOKUP formula, Download a KBART file from WorldShare Collection Manager. Organize your data to ensure that you have all the information you need. Identify the common field to use to match your data. Create the VLOOKUP formula. Check your results and then upload the modified KBART file to Collection Manager. In Collection Manager, Download the KBART file for your desired ebook or e journal collection. To effectively use the VLOOKUP function, make sure your data is well organized. Ensure that the spreadsheet of KBART titles and the spreadsheet of your titles are in the same Excel file. Identify the field you want to match the data between the KBART and your titles. In creating the VLOOKUP formula, tell the function what to look up. Select the cell that contains the information you want to look up. Tell the function where to look. Select the table or spreadsheet where the data is located. Tell Excel what column to output the data from. Tell Excel which column contains the data we want to have as an output from VLOOKUP. Tell Excel exact or approximate match. So you tell Excel to look for an exact or approximate match by entering true or false in the formula. Check your results to ensure that the information returned is correct. In Collection Manager, upload the modified KBART file to your desired ebook or e journal collection. To reconcile a KBART file from Collection Manager with a list of your titles, open the tab delimited KBART file downloaded from Collection Manager. Note there is often an identifying value in your title list that matches with title ID in the KBART file from Collection Manager. Open a second Excel sheet and copy the identifying values, such as book ID, product ID, etc., for titles from your title list. And now you have a single Excel file containing a sheet for titles in the tab delimited KBART file and a sheet for your titles. In the sheet for your titles, MDT titles, you want to insert a blank column to the right of the unique identifier. We'll use column H here as our unique identifier. Insert a column to the right of column H. Place 
and X in all of the relevant cell in this blank columns. In the sheet for the tab delimited KBART titles called General Public KBART, insert a blank column to the right of the title ID field, which will be column M. Select the second cell in this blank column. Click Formulas menu and select insert function. Use the formula builder to help you create the VLOOKUP function. Place cursor in the lookup value field. Select the cell to the left of where the formula is to be inserted in the KBART sheet, which is L2 if using title ID as the match point. Place the cursor in the table array field. Select the sheet containing your titles, MDT titles, and highlight the two columns that contain the value you are looking for. Place your cursor in the column index number field and set it to 2. Place your cursor in the range lookup field and set it to false. Press enter or click OK. You see the new lookup formula inserted for the first cell in the blank column. In the function box for the new VLOOKUP formula, add a dollar sign before and after the column letters. So before H, after H, before I, and after I. Press Enter to refresh the formula in the cell. Copy the formula into the rest of the cell in this column. Those that have matches will have an X marker value in the cell. Those that are not matches will have an N slash A not applicable in the cell. Sort the sheet by column M to group the matches. So click Data, Sort, and we want to sort by column M. Click OK. Scroll to the top, and we see the values that have the X to denote that this is a match from your titles. Delete the rows that contain N slash A in column M. So delete all these rows that contains N. A, and we are left with the rows that have an X value. Now, KBART files should only have 26 columns, A to Z, so we can go ahead and delete column M from here, delete the sheet containing your title since you don't need it any longer. Make any other changes you need to the data in the KBART file. Save the file as a tab delimited text file. Upload the file when you are ready. General notes regarding KBART files. Tab delimited text that opens in Excel spreadsheet or another spreadsheet application. The columns run A through Z. This helps one determine if a column is missing. Data format must be four-digit year followed by two-digit month by two-digit date.
this is one of the first things to check if any titles are invalid during upload. Collection ID can either be blank or else must match the collection ID of the collection in which the file is being uploaded. OCLC entry ID is required, will be present for global collections that you've downloaded from Collection Manager, and can be arbitrary numeric value in collections that you create. For collections that you create, OCLC number may match if the URL matches to a WorldCat record. If you need help with using Collection Manager, contact OCLC support in your region at https colon slash slash help.oclc.org. Thank you.